For one Russian entrepreneur, the effect of the Kremlin's crackdown on cheese has been far from mild. In fact, it's been a life changer. Oleg Sirota, a former IT specialist turned farmer, opened his new cheese making factory on Friday. The inauguration ceremony was held exactly a year after President Vladimir Putin introduced the Western food ban in retaliation for sanctions against Moscow over its actions in Ukraine. Sirota said he had no regrets taking advantage of the wider geopolitical dispute between Russia Russia and the international community to fulfill his ambitions in business. In fact, one of his goats is named Angela Merkel in honor of the German Chancellor. Last year, when sanctions were introduced, I realized that it was my dream and that I can fulfill and I need to do my best for it. And now it is the right time for me to achieve it. I decided to sell my flat. I've sold two cars, a Mercedes and Toyota, took a $120,000 loan out and decided to spend it all on a cheese factory because dreams must be fulfilled. At the opening ceremony, crowds of Russian journalists and local government officials attended. The new factory was named Russian Parmesan, reflecting on Oleg's hopes to improve the quality of the cheese to world-class standards. Parmesan is the king of cheese. There are two types of cheese that are considered the top of cheesemaking, Parmesan and Emmental. We will make them eventually, but right away, of course, we will not be able to make this kind of cheese because we need to develop technology to make it. Footage of European cheese being bulldozed and of bacon being incarcerated in Russia's, quote, food crematoria has sparked backlash in a country where poverty rates and prices are increasing as memories remain of the Soviet-era famine.